Hey guys, this is Trenchy back again to bring you another video, and this time we are doing another 20 for 2020, brought to you by Horrific Nightmares JM, aka Jason, and Horror Man Joe. Um, this time we are doing 2010 slashers, so slashers from like 2010 for 2020. Um, Again, all honorable mentions, only one per franchise, and, uh, yeah. Um, here we go, man. Coming in at number 20 is Scarehouse. I enjoyed this movie, it was, it was fun, and the, the kills were really sadistic. And it was just a really well done, well done slasher. Uh, number 19 was Killer High. I love the I love the monster in this. I thought it was a really good, fun horror comedy. Uh, very underrated. I think a lot of people would enjoy this if they saw it. And yeah, a lot of cool kills. Number 18 is Halloween 2018. A little low. I like it though. I do like it. It's just... Um, I didn't like it as much as everybody else. But I really enjoyed Halloween 2018. It was cool to see Michael back on the screen. And... Man, does, does he go in on this one? Yeah, so that's why number 18 is uh, Halloween 2018. Number 17 is Terrifier. Again, another one I didn't like as much as everybody else, but I still really enjoyed this movie. Um, Art the Clown is fun. And come on, the fucking, the woman getting sawed in half. It had there in the spot on the list just for that. So yeah, number 7 is Terrifier. 17's Terrifier. Number 16's Haunt. Another one I didn't love as much as everybody else, but I, I really liked Haunt. Um, the people in the horror masks were cool. I followed the masks were cool. Our final girl was pretty badass. And yeah, I really, I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, number 16 is Haunt. Uh, number 15 is Candy Corn. Uh, this had the guy from... 31, which I haven't seen, and, uh, he was also in Free From Hell, which I have seen, it's really good. Um, Candy Corn's really cool, I like that Tony Todd's in here, and the kills are just, they're just, they're just, mm, magnifico, you know, really, really damn cool, I love it. So yeah, number 15 is Candy Corn. Number 14, Stitches. It's fucking fun. It's just Stitches, man. I love the chick that gets the umbrella through the eye. The stories are really good. And the uh, Stitches is a really likable killer, you know. So yeah, number 14 is Stitches. Number 13 is Bone Jangles. I watched this recently um, when they were doing it on the uh, Slash Bro stream. Really enjoyed it. The zombies were cool, and Bone Jangles himself was a wrecking machine. So yeah, number 13 is Bone Jangles. Number 12, The Town That Dreaded Sundown remake sequel thing. I really like the meta-ness of this. Um, and this just ranked up the violence, man. This was just extremely... It, this had a lot of good gore in it. A lot of good gore. So yeah, number 12 is The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Number 11 is Hellfest. I love the Halloweeniness of this. Um, yes, it was so fun. Yes, it's PG-13, so, like, the kills weren't the greatest, but they were still pretty damn good. For PG-13, they were still really damn good. And my favorite part was when Bex, Taylor, Klaus, and uh, um, Tony Todd... Are like going back and forth. They have great chemistry. I would love to see them in other stuff. Because that was amazing. That's like my favorite scene in the movie. So yeah. Number 11 is Hellfest. Number 10 is Trick. And Trick had to be on here. I thought this was really cool. I liked the twist. Um, and the kills were really damn good. So yeah. Number 10 is Trick. Number 9 is Charlie's Farm. I saw this recently. Come on man. You got, you got Kane Hodder in here. You got Bill Mosley in here. You got Charlie Wrecking House. Just brutal kills. Brutal kills. Really, it's really well done. Yeah, number nine is Charlie's Farm. Number eight is The Babysitter. Very fun. You know, I like uh, I like the uh, comedy. I, I like how fun the deaths were. And I just, 
I just had fun with this one. So yeah, number eight's the babies there. Number seven's the final girls. Another slasher comedy. I really enjoyed. Um, I like how they're trapped inside a movie. Uh, I thought everybody gave a great performance, especially Malin Eckerman and Taisa Farmingo. Really fun, heart heartwarming comedy. So yeah, number seven, The Final Girls. Number six, Hush. Hush took me off guard, and I really fucking enjoyed Hush, and more people should, should see Hush. Hush is great. Um, I like the idea that The Final Girl is deaf, and you know what I mean? She has to deal with this killer. Um, I like how her being a writer actually ties into the story and actually ties in and into how she beats him. And it's just really cool. I really love this one. So yeah, number six is Hush. Number five is The Stranger's Prey at Night, which I do prefer over the original. While the original's creepier and more disturbing, this one's more fun. And it's just a really fun movie. I, I love the, uh, the pool scene. I think everybody enjoys that. And the ending, well, it goes on a little, it lag, it does drag a little, it's still fun. So yeah, number five is The Stranger's Prey at Night. Number four is Cabin in the Woods. It's a slasher and a monster movie all in one, what can I say, it's, it's amazing. Check out Cabin in the Woods. Uh, number three is Leprechaun Returns. That little shit is back, and it's the same shit from the first one. And he's wrecking house. Uh, it's great. I love it when he chops the dude. Is it in half? He chops him in half with the uh, the light, the the like sunlight thing. You know, to get sunlight, he he makes it drop, and it, I think it cuts the dude in half. There's another chick. She's like killed by the sprinklers. Um, just really good kills. And we do get a. I forgot his name, but the dude from the first one's back in it as well. So yeah, number three is Leprechaun Returns. Number two, Scream 4. Um, I love Scream 4. Uh, just really fun. Good to see all our characters back. Um, who turned out to be the killer was fantastic. I like that. and um, Such a sadistic performance from that character once we find out they're, they're the killer. And what they do to themselves afterward is just fucked up and just so fun and dark, man. I really like Scream 4. But number one has to go to Hatchet 2. Hatchet 2 is just so damn fun. You got fucking people's guts being ripped out. Daniel Harris, Tony Todd out there in the fucking swamps. Man, taking on Kane Hodder as fucking Victor Crowley. Uh, we get to find out more of his backstory. And come on, he chops off some dude that's doing a woman in the ass and he keeps pumping and the girl doesn't even notice that the dude's head is chopped off. It's fucking great. So yeah, there's my list. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I really enjoyed this. Hopefully I can get some of the other lists done too. I'm behind on a couple. But I will. I'll get to that. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Stay frosty. This is Trenchy signing off. Be